Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have really cool special product to share with you. This is a sub trunk refrigerator freezer from ACO Power. This is perfectly fit inside of your sub trunk underneath in the back of your Tesla Model Y. Usually you use this for extra um, space but now you can use it to put the refrigerator and the freezer in here. So in today's video I'll show you what comes in the box of this awesome sub trunk refrigerator freezer and then I'll show a quick installation um, process. It's basically just place it in and plug it in. After that I'll show you how much stuff can you fit in this refrigerator and at the end we'll test it if this really works. Now let's go. Let's see what comes in the box of this sub trunk refrigerator for Tesla Model Y from ACO Power. Alright, so these came in the box. Let me show you real quick of all the components that came in this sub trunk refrigerator. So there's a refrigerator itself. Um, I'll take you a tour details after all the stuff up here. And it came with the cleaning cloth and the plug, cable plug. So this will connect to the side right here. And this will connect to your 12 volt plug in the back of your Model Y. And it came with this six um cushions so with the adhesive on the bottom part so this you will stick on the sub trunk cover let me show you the, the graph real quick so you'll stick on the sub trunk cover of your model y to create a little space so when you cover it it doesn't cover completely um flat so you can let the heat from the compressor radiate out as you can see here from here I'll show you when um, it's being installed in my Model Y later and the instruction manual let's open this up real quick okay let's open it up there's really good space in here so this is 35 liters um, refrigerator with a 45 watt um, compressor motor in here so it should be really really efficient doesn't use much energy at all to cool it down and they claim this could cool down um, the temperature within half an hour we'll test that later in the video and it's really um, great perfectly sized to the sub trunk seems like we're gonna test fit it after this and it came with this really sturdy handle as you can see here so you can just grab this and carry it and put in your sub trunk and this is about 30 pounds so it's not crazy heavy to lift it and put in your sub trunk and it came with this easy controller pads right here so this these are the button to control the temperature up and down and the setting and on and off and it also has a Bluetooth control so you can control the refrigerator on your phone um, on the app via Bluetooth Wow it looks really really good so far it's really great um, quality built you know it's uh, sturdy handles uh, good size cooler and refrigerator compartment in here and yeah looks really really awesome all right let's go and install it in my tesla model y here's the kickstarter page for this awesome sub trunk refrigerator freezer and they also have options for model 3 model y and model x i'm pretty sure all of these um, refrigerator 
using a similar compressor but just in different shape and size to fit each car so right now they are having an awesome price on the early bird price on the kickstarter page so 299 for the model 3 sub trunk refrigerator and 349 for the model y this is probably the best price um, or the best refrigerator freezer i have seen so far in the market either model 3 or model y and now they even have option for tesla model x so if i were you i'll try to get that early bird price which is really really awesome yeah all right now let's go and install it in my tesla model y okay before we install the refrigerator in the sub truck let's install this cushion pads first so first just pull out your um, sub trunk cover and then flip it over make sure you install it right here on the edges so it we'll sits on the edges of this um, side of the sub trunk right here so three one two three on each side like so all right now let's test it out if it leaves enough um, space when I try to close it down it'll create a um, little space so let the heat release and radiate out from the refrigerator now we can plug in the power cord lift it up and place in the sub truck it should fit in perfectly with the shape of the sub truck Now we just run the power port on to the other side. And plug in the 12 volt plug into the socket on the left hand side of your Model Y trunk. As you can see it's on right now so let me show you uh, what's on the display. So this is the current temperature and this is the power input from the DC which is a 12 volt socket. Well it's getting at 15 volts from the socket right now and this is how you set the temperature just right here this button for setting the temperature just press on that button now you can set the temperature up or down you can go all the way down to minus 8 and then all the way up to I think 50 something degrees but I set it up to about 38 it's actually it's working right now I can feel the air is blowing out not really hot air blowing out but it's super quiet I'm not sure you can hear it. this is the microphone right here I can't barely hear anything which is pretty awesome as I mentioned before you can also control this awesome sub trunk refrigerator with your phone via Bluetooth so you can download the app using the QR code on the instruction manual right here so basically just scan so it just redirects the phone to your app store so you just download this one right here it's a car refrigerator after that uh, make sure you turn on the refrigerator as you can see here the bluetooth symbol that's how it would connect um, to your phone so just go to your app there so allow, please select, here you go. That's it. It's really, really fast. So it just it blinked twice when it's connected. So as you can see, I can um, remotely control the refrigerator. I don't have to come back here to control the refrigerator. So let's say I'm sitting in the, in the car and we are driving on a road trip. And then let's say I forgot to set the temperature um, down or high I can just set it from here and then you can change to Celsius from here and you can change to Fahrenheit back to Fahrenheit and you can do a running mode you can do max or eco so as I change to eco so this refrigerator really really efficient they claim to um, only use less than 0 0.2 kilowatt hour of the energy for the 24 hours use um, again the refrigerator doesn't run all the time it only runs up to the temperature that you set 
after that, it will just stop. And you know, when it gets hot again and, and the temperature got gets higher, then it will just start running again. So that's why it doesn't use a lot of energy. All right, now let's try to put the cover back up and see we stay still stay pretty flat as you can see here so you can still um, use 100 percent of your rear trunk capacity fully with a refrigerator and freezer underneath it which is pretty awesome all right let me show you a quick um, measurement of the storage space of this refrigerator quick all right, let's measure it up. So let's measure the, the depth first. I'll measure the, where the white part stops. So it's eight and a half inches deep. And let me, sh let me see how long is the storage space. It's 17 and a half inches long and about 11.2 inches wide really good size space refrigerator because you're not taking any storage space of your the top of your trunk at all it's just hiding underneath here let me show you how many bottle of water will fit in this refrigerator as you can see I have a lot of bottles here let's try to fit it in how many I can fit in here One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Twenty-four. Wow! I can easily fit the whole twenty-four packs of uh, bottle of water in here. So this is a sixteen-ounce regular size um, bottle, twenty-four pack. Let me show you real quick the space. As you can see, there's still a little space left here. I can put stuff in here, and the height. Um, Pretty much almost max like an inch less than an inch left right here but plenty of space for camping or tripping uh, picnicking definitely enough stuff to do a few nights camping here again because it's also a freezer so you can put meat and vegetables in here easily this is pretty awesome so much um, space um, this is probably the biggest so far that I have tested. So I have tested the one that fits right here and the one that fits on the passenger seat in the rear center console. This is the biggest so far and actually it's the most quiet one. This is on right now. Let me close it. So this is the feature. It's on. I try to um, get the, the sound. I can't rarely hear anything it's working but it's really really quiet All right now let's put this refrigerator to the test I have a few bottles of water two cans of soda oranges watermelons and strawberries in here and I have thermometer um, with me so I'm just gonna leave the thermometer in here. It says 71 right now. Um, this is from the weather on the outside, not in here. I just put it in here and then turn on the refrigerator. As you can see, it said 59 on the inside. I'm gonna close it down. And then I'll set it to um, 38 degree Fahrenheit. So it's all set up. And the part is about um, 20 25 minutes from my house it's a park and lake we'll see by the time we get to the park on the temperature of the inside our refrigerator how cold it's gonna be by the time we get there it should be really close to the temperature that I just set it up so as you can see as I every close everything down I still have a full access to the rear trunk with the refrigerator in the sub trunk on the top I still can fit this foldable e-bike with me in my Tesla Model Y let's go to the park we are here at the park let's check out the temperature 
right, let's see the current temperature here on the uh, screen said 35 degree Fahrenheit. Let's see on the inside. Really close. As you can see on the thermometer, it said 37.8. That's only two degrees um, different. That's probably the closest I've ever tested um, so far for the refrigerator for Tesla Model Y. This is the third one I've tested, which is pretty awesome. Now you can have really nice and cold drinks and fruits and vegetables. And we can enjoy it at the park. On the lake, like today. Beautiful lake. use the refrigerator in the sub trunk for grocery shopping just like this so we can keep all the fruits and vegetables nice and cold underneath here all right now let's test the freezer function of this refrigerator and freezer uh, for your sub trunk so I let everything reset as you can see it's 66 degrees um, on the inside and the current outside temperature is 75 so I will set the temperature all the way it's um, said it could go all the way down to minus 8 Fahrenheit I will just do it to uh, minus 2 maybe yeah maybe not too crazy minus 8 all right minus 2 Fahrenheit all right and I will leave this thermometer on the inside of the refrigerator. Oh, by the way, the refrigerator all also has the LED, really bright, quite bright um, LED light when you open it. So when you try to find something at night in this refrigerator, you still can see it. All right, I'm going to leave this refrigerator about um, half an hour. Let me put on a timer and then we'll come back and see how far and how low the temperature I will get. Right now it's 118 as you can see. We'll come back and see the result. All right, we are back and it's been half an hour. As you can see here, the time. And it's not quite minus two. It's right now 44 degrees. So it drops more than 20 degrees so far in half an hour let's see the temperature inside here 44 here this is it 46 right here so it's really really close I'm I'm surprised how accurate is this temperature reading on this refrigerator you know what since we're doing this I'm just gonna leave it uh, for another half an hour and then we'll come back and see right so it's been about a little bit more than an hour um, I totally forgot to come out and yeah it came down to actually one degree it didn't quite go down to um, minus two yet to be honest with you I'm not gonna be using it as low as you know minus two or minus eight anyways um, zero to or one degree it's awesome for freezer um, let's check the temperature on the inside Right, ooh, I can see the ice building up already. Right here, I'm not sure if you can see it. It's right there. All right, so the temperature on the inside is 4.3 Fahrenheit. So it's off by 3 Fahrenheit, which is um, not that bad compared to a few um, refrigerators that have, have tested. This is probably the most accurate. Um, showing the temperature on the display by far which is pretty awesome as you can see in the video this sub truck refrigerator freezer from ACO power 
it worked great pretty awesome and it fits perfectly um, in the sub trunk space so you don't waste um, this space where you don't use it it's awesome for road trip awesome for camping picnicking in the park or even birthday party um, in the park and yeah it, you can fit a lot of stuff in here and also the price so they have this early bird price for I believe $349 for this sub trunk visa refrigerator which is really really awesome price um, but they have limited quantity for the early bird so so try to get it early so you get that lower price for this sub trunk refrigerator I'll make sure to put the link in the description down below and thank you so much guys for watching today's video don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe for more awesome contents like this and see you on the next video peace